How about another Kinky Break House? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, is that so? Um, how about another Sweets Buffet? That's technically the same, so no. Oh, really? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Kingy Clan. It's Twin Kale here with another Starverse of all video. This time it's gonna be another addition to the Japanese Hall of Fame. So about six days ago, as you can kind of recording this, Bushiro held their KCG conference for summer of 2024. And apparently this is the first time ever that Bushiro and Saigame said well, this time we're going to actually announce a Hall of Fame change to the Japanese format of Cyrus Evolve, the previous ones of Shenlong and Curse Crafter. These were broadcast via the likes of social media, think Twitter, X, that sort of thing, official website, yaga yaga yaga, right? But this time they said no. You guys who are tuned in to this TCG conference, you are going to hear about the new restriction uh, right here, right now. It is none other than Gingerbread House for the Runecraft class. This has been a card since BPO3 Flame of Leva King. It may not seem like much to a lot of people's eyes just because all it really does has a fanfare heal. It's a one cost or sigil has this stack keyword that all Earth Sigil Amulets have and you are more partial to Millie Parfait all cards that we have here in English only it is also known as It's a Sweet Buffet but without further ado we're going to go ahead as to why this happened and how it could impact the game as a whole BP09 Duet of Light and Shadow introduced a flurry of plethora a great number of tools that the dirt rune craft deck, as we like to call it, or earth right rune, as people want to be more technical with, received. Think the likes of True Seeker Faust, the follower that just allows rune craft to just put a bunch of earth sigils onto the board and start gaining off of it because of Faust just easily putting them onto the board, no cost required. Activate the fanfare, stink the likes of Kitchens of Creation for Draw 1, which is Cauldron Splash Cauldron of Calamity for a top 4 check for a card with the Earth Rag ability, like True Seeker Frost himself, or the aforementioned Sweet Buffet slash Gingerbread House. So these just allowed, and not to mention that True Seeker Frost can also grab the likes of price of magic or red hot ritual to do some board removal should it be deemed necessary now that being said because of all of this support for the dirt class you know server Glenn was another key one along with the summoning circle i think it was called that supported both golem and dirt all together allowing the likes of ancient alchemists to continue to be Dirt's primary way of ending games with the fact that she makes golems free along with allowing golems to ping to board or ping to face easily uncontestable and all that. Now one of the only other decks I could really contest with this was debatably Vampire Abyss because it was able to swarm the opponent with a bunch of forest backs, hopefully power them up with the likes of Precious Blood Fangs from BPO2 Ring of Bahamut or Dead Daylight from the upcoming for English Idol Master Cinderella Girls collaboration set. And should any player, Dirt Room included, fail to respect this, they'll just get overwhelmed by a bunch of bags and it can be easily finished off with any of the Vanya cards and so on. Now, unfortunately for Vampire Abyss, that some of the games like a do try to stick onto face does not always last because again gingerbread house and gingerbread house just gives that easy that heal three chimera tongue we've seen the likes of havencraft decks on and off survive with barely enough health remaining because 
Dark Offering for that heal 3 did enough to keep them in the game, Circuit Deal. And Gingerbread House does that in space while also being a way to enable the shenanigans that Dirty wants to do. So as a result, Dirt just simply became this near unstoppable force with the ability to overwhelm the opponent with both board presence and face pressure with all the golden stuff linked around Ancient Alchemist while also being able to heal up, while also being able to remove board with again Red Heart Ritual and Press of Magic while also being able to keep resources healthy with the likes of Teachings of Creation and Witch's Cauldron. So how would this say impact the English game so they say, or rather, let's go with the Japanese game first, and then we go into the English game. So in the Japanese game, even into BP-10, Ghost of Arcana, as of the time I'm recording this, we are in the final weeks of the Ghost of the Arcana format in Japan. And even with Dirk getting maybe, I think, like one or two cards, if I'm not mistaken, in that, that was just simply enough to keep Dirk Rune being this uncontestable archetype, very uncontestable deck for the most part. Very few decks have a good way to answer it in time or they can't put enough pressure in time because of dirt healing out of lethal because of gingerbread house. And again, it's kind of like why we saw Shenlong restricted in Dragon because Shenlong allowed Dragon decks using you know, more mid-range control styles survive longer while being able to continue to apply board removal through the likes of Blazing Breath, Serpent Wrath, Conflagration, and also threatening easy face pressure with the likes of George Dragoon Forte and Genesis Dragon. And we are kind of seeing this being mirrored here in Dirt with Kings Chains of Creation doing this much more easily because it is something that can happen as early as the first turn of the game while being able to be fished out easily with the likes of Q Seeker Faust. Now going as to the impacts again into BP10 Gothic Year kind of format. This deck was allowed to run rampant even in a trios event. It says something, this is something that I, I really do appreciate Psychics for doing it, providing us with percentages of the number of teams that contain a particular class. And we see here that 99% of teams, you know, this is a, a over 500 team tournament, 90%, you know, so this is, this is about under 500 teams barely, had a RuneCraft player. And chances are they were playing Dirt Rune. Imagine that despite we go, oh, well, it's technically balanced because no more than 33.33% of a trio tournament can be a specific class or universe. It does become a problem when you go, well, when 9 out of 10 teams goes, we want to field Dirt Room because of just how versatile, how powerful, how overwhelming it is as a deck. It is almost like the second coming of mid-range control dragon from way back in the BP01 Advent of Genesis format, but this is able to do things much quicker, it, it has, it's able to threaten face more easily, it's able to do more uncontested damage with the likes of Ancient Alchemist and so on. It gets crazy. Now, as for implications into the English game, I will not be surprised if we do end up getting some kind of hit for it because if there is anything in Rune that's very worthy of our gravitation towards face, it's the place decks. Dirt Rune does it in space. Again, Ancient Alchemist is, has shown up in all sorts of face decks, whether it be Dirt entirely. Albeit not now, but back then, or Dirt Spell Chain Hybrid decks. These were just allowed to run rampant for a little while, apply some pressure here and there, and saw varying levels of success across, say, shop qualifiers and regions and so on. Now, later on, Dirt will get a card called Riley Hydro Shaman, which allows people to easily have a recurrable storm beater and really 
push for some easy game. It's a game most people in major formats are most likely gonna tap out sugar state, so they will generally not have any real responses. Wards are few and far in between. And if you do run into wards again, Red Hot Ritual and Price of Magic can easily take care of them. So it is very easy to clear the board to get easy face damage in with the likes of Rally Hydro Summon, with the likes of Ancient Alchemist. This is going to definitely be a deck that people will want to gravitate towards. Basically, it's kind of like playing a, an interesting hybrid between Control Dragon and Fable Haven without the major drawbacks of either because of just how decent your quality of life is in Dirt in a nutshell. So I could see English simply fall in suit. It will most likely be both Gingerbread House and Sweets Buffet going down to limit one period because they are the same card. And hopefully with this change, Booster and Seconds will make a right decision in that when people realize that they have only the one heal card or if they want to play more heal cards they need to start messing around with their evolve decks more maybe they need to figure out a way to play enough spells to play the likes of say Gasling Healer in BPO4 Cosmicos and again you know BPO4 Cosmicos also brought Concentration which already is going to perform that heal 3. If I'm not mistaken I don't think it's really being spammed that much because it being a 3 cost spell did make it a little harder to justify because people wanted to generally gravitate more towards establishing enough earth signals to pop off with Ancient Alchemist, Rally Hydro Shaman and so on to apply that pressure but with Gingerbread House going down to one in Japan, that means they have only really one the one Gingerbread House, the up to three copies of Concentration, if they really want to, up to three copies of Gasoline Healer, and if they really think they're playing a splash, which they kind of really don't, but if they find a way, they can play Gasoline Healer, Evolve for an additional heal. It makes deck building a little more tricky. It, it does then such that Runecraft deck space around the earth right mechanic have to either hybridize a little more or rework ratios such that they can continue to have enough heal to feel comfortable to play a deck. Concentration does mean that their game generally slows down a little more because again three play points could be used for a lot of other things than just a simple heal three draw one or earth right heal three draw two so i think that will be that from me let me know what you guys think about the gingerbread house slash it's a sweet buffet here down below i hear you in the comments let's start a little chat going about that what do you think is english gonna get this am i overestimating that dirt is not gonna be playing all that much in english what do you think let me see you folks talk down below and with that I'll see you all in the next video. Continue to embrace the dirt and I'll catch you all over in the next one. Bye bye.